<sighs> okay, guys. So it's interesting how my weight loss is going because I'm in a big plateau right now. I've been hovering around 27, 28 pounds down for a while now. So Tammy and I have been talking about implementing uh, exercise, you know, start walking around the park and all that. Um, <clears throat> but just to let you know, still love Profile by Sanford. Still love the program. Even though I'm in a plateau, it has nothing to do with them. That's just a physical thing. Um, and it's funny because you're hearing different numbers. You're hearing 27, you're hearing 25, but you're watching different, different things that were dated different. Like you watch the live show. I might be down 30 on the next live show. I don't know. But anyway, as of right now, the filming of this video, I'm down 28 pounds and kind of just bouncing one pound up and down. It's kind of doing its thing. But I have to tell you, I've received so many compliments from people who say, hey, I can totally tell, I can totally notice, and I'm not fishing for anything, but they, they just tell me out of the kindness of their heart how they can see a difference in me. And that makes me feel good and gives me energy plus my clothing. So I may not be losing weight, but inches are changing and everything's changing. So my clothing's a little looser, a little baggier, uh, not as tight and all that stuff. So anyway, enough about that. But my weight loss going great. I'm loving the program. Thanks, Profile for being a part of the show. I appreciate it. Now let's get down to this. This is, I was with my coach at Profile and she came up with this. She gave me this recipe. I don't know if she had it on her website. I don't know if, if she just made it up. She called it an Alfredo chicken bake. I'm like, what's an Alfredo chicken bake? She says, well, let me give you the list. And she wrote it out. And I took a snapshot of it and I brought it to the show. So I'm going to attempt to make it right now. It's kind of a kind of a casserole type of a dish. Um, it's going to have Alfredo sauce uh, and that. So come in and close. I'll show you all the ingredients. So here's the rundown. You've got some Alfredo sauce. You can go with a uh, light. There's a light brand that I have not been able to get. I would have used it in this episode had I been able to. I've been looking for three weeks. It's like you got to order it over the internet or something. But we went with this. This is the, the, the healthiest version of the Alfredo sauces with the lowest sugar, lowest carbs and everything. I looked at all the jars on the market. So I went with this Alfredo. But look for the light Alfredo and it should be better numbers. Then you got crumbled bacon. We had this in the fridge, so we threw it in the recipe. Broccoli and a rotisserie chicken that you buy at the store. Plus you got bags of cheese. So here's the deal. We basically got to pre-cook. The chicken's already pre-cooked. The broccoli we have to steam and get that cooked. Everything is kind of pre This is already cooked. Uh, everything's pretty much pre-cooked and then you put it all together and then you bake it all together so that the cheese melts and you get that outer crust and everything. So let's take care of this first. So I'm gonna punch a hole in this, microwave for about six to eight minutes. This should become fork tender and delicious. And then we're gonna bring, bring it all together. So I'll have the chicken and the vegetables and the bacon and the cheese, okay? So I will see you in a minute. All right, guys, I planned on doing two pans. So I'm going to do one here and one here. In case we want to take one to Bible study or to Tammy's parents or whatever, uh, we have two tins we're doing. But you can do like a full casserole dish if you want. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, I'm not sure if we're going to start with the chicken, right? Uh, we're going to take the chicken and... Oh, by the way, let's go preheat the oven first. Silly me. And I'll have the time frame. I may not have the time frame. I may just, I think you're just going to bake this till the cheese, you know, it's all bubbly and cheesy and everything. So we got this. Boy, I'm lazy. I'm just going to dump it in. There we go. Get that laid out, put a little bit in here. Get that laid out. There we go. Take your vegetables, drop them in. Once again, I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna 
dump them in. There we go. Go ahead and spread those around. I have no idea what this is supposed to look like, guys. We're literally just winging it. Okay. Get those spread out. Got all your vegetables. Okay. You can take your bacon next. And generously put your bacon in there. Grab a fistful for the other one. Get your bacon bits in there. Uh, you want to cook your own bacon, have at it. We just happen to have a bag of, of bacon bits, so real bacon bits. There we go. There. There we go. Make sure everything's kind of all going to be one big mush when we're done. All right. Then take your cheese, cover it all in cheese. We got a mixture of cheese here. We're doing, um, I had some leftover cheddar, I had some Mexi cheese. around it'll all be good when we're all done said and done so there we go so we've got the chicken the vegetables the bacon the cheese and last but but not least the alfredo sauce you guys ready oops all right so I got two jars of Alfredo, so I'm going to just pour one jar on each. You can scrape the jars if you want. There we go. Pour that around. You really want to be fancy. I know Tammy would do this, so I'm going to do it. I'm not a fancy guy. Hold on a minute. But Tammy is, so this is what she'd probably do. She would probably just spread everything around. Love around, make sure everything's got sauce on it. Get it all together. There we go. Make it all look nice. That's just the way she rolls, so we'll just do this in honor of her. There we go. 
All right, everything's put together. I'm going to put a little pepper on top. And then I'm going to throw this in at 350 degrees. I'm using convention setting. Uh, convection, sorry. Not convention. It's not like they're all meeting. But anyway, it's convection oven setting. So it might take about 10 to 15 minutes longer if you don't have convection on your oven. But I'm cooking at baking temperature 350. Throw in the oven until this is kind of brown, browning a little bit, bubbly a little bit. You'll know when it's ready. Everything's pre-cooked in here anyway. So you could eat it as is, but who'd want to, right? So let's pop this in and see how it goes. Okay, so we did about, I would say, let's see, it was 20 minutes, 10 minutes, about 30, about 30 minutes total on convection. So probably 45 minutes on regular oven, okay? 45 minutes if you have a normal oven and 30 minutes if you're using convection, okay? So let's take some of this out and that's what it looks like right there. That's nice, smells real good. Got good pepper, started crusting a little bit on the pepper and the cheese perimeter. Looks perfect, let's give it a try. Oh, that looks so good. Cut really nice too. Anyway, we're gonna bring some over. Why did I make two trays? I know you're asking. I made two trays because one's going to the kids. Still gotta take care of the kids, right? So we're gonna probably drop off a tray to uh, their place and then we'll skedaddle and go run the rest of our errands tonight. But, um, you know, nothing like sharing the wealth, huh? All right, so let's give us a try here. All right, guys, this is gonna be dinner tonight after we bring the, the other tray to the kids. Um, don't forget, you wanna pick up my hats or my shirts or any of the Cooking with Jack or Jack on the Go merchandise. It's all in the store. Should be on my show page on YouTube. I love you guys. And once again, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.